Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Stone, and this is your last spelling sort of the year, uh, sort number 36. So you will need the colored pencils and the sort chart along with your sort envelope number 36. Um, and when you have all that, you can start the lesson. All right, I honestly think that out of all of the spelling lessons, this one's going to be your hardest. Um, because some of these words I even have to think about when I'm writing down, and I look at them and I say, oh, I'm not sure if that looks right. And I'll write it the other way and I go, no, the first way was right to begin with. So this one is going to be hard. So because that is the case, I am not going to give you the sort, sorting chart with this test. It's just going to be the words. If you think that the sorting chart is going to help you, then you can feel free to put it on the back and and do it. But I just have a feeling trying to do sorting and learning the words is just going to be too difficult. So we are not going to sort with this test. All right, but I still want you to do it with me because I want you to see how the words are broken down. So let's take a look at that very first chart. I could not make the long E sound over the E, so I just spelled it out. So we're looking for words that have the IE in the middle of them that have the long E sound, as in the word Steve. So the very first word I want you to find is I want you to find the word niece, N-I-E-C-E. -E. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is going to be difficult is because remember that whole rule about, you know, I before E except after C? That doesn't work all the time, and most of the time it doesn't work. Um, in this first column it does, but you're going to find out in the other columns it does not. So... Find the word niece. After you get the word niece, you can go ahead and glue it down since we're not going to be sorting. Um, I want you to take your orange colored pencil and I want you to highlight the IE in niece that makes the long E sound. All right, now that you've found niece, I want you to go through the words that you have remaining and I want you to find all of the words that have the E, the long E sound spelled with an I and an E. You're going to notice in the other charts that you have a bunch of words that spell that are E-I. I want the words that are I-E that make the long E sound. So after you get done with that, you can start the video again. So you should have found the words yield, grief, shield, relieve, and belief. So after you have all of those down, don't have, remember they don't have to be in a certain order. They just have to be in that column. Go ahead and glue them down and then take your orange colored pencil and go ahead and highlight the IE in each one of those words that's going to make the long E sound. All right, let's take a look at the next column. The next column is the EI together that makes the long E sound, as in the word seize. All right, so look through your words and I want you to find the word leisure. Okay, notice that it's the long E sound, but in this case it is E-I. So find the word leisure, glue it down, and then take your green colored pencil and highlight the E-I in leisure that makes the long E sound. So this is why I think it's going to be tricky is because that very first column, it makes the same sound, but it's spelled I-E. The second column, it makes the long E sound, but it's spelled E-I. So this one is just basically going to be a memorization test because um, it's hard to figure out. And we're even going to get to other columns that makes it even more difficult. So after you find the word leisure, I want you to look through your remaining words, and I want you to find the following words. Weird, either, neither, and protein. All right? They are the E-I letters together that make the long E sound. Now, some people can debate on the words either and neither because sometimes I notice that I even do it. I will say either or neither. Um, and so, but that's another reason why we're not sorting is because some of these words um, I don't think belong necessarily, have to belong necessarily in where they've placed them. So, Leisure, weird, either, neither, and protein. So go back and take your color, your green colored pencil, 
and highlight the EI letters that together make the long E sound. All right, the next column is the red column. And this column is the EI together that make the long A sound, like is in the word neighbor. All right, so in the green column, the EI together made the long E sound. In the red column, the EI together is going to make the long A sound. Um, welcome to the English language. Um, so I want you to go ahead and I want you to find the word way. Okay. Uh, way has the long A sound, but it is spelled with an E and an I. Now, there's another kind of way, like W-A-Y, like show me the way. This kind of way is like, oh, like you um, want to find out the weight of something, and so you put it on a scale and you weigh it. So, E-I together in this case makes the long A sound. So, I want you to go through, and you should have, we should have narrowed down the words left considerably, so you shouldn't have that many to choose from. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go through, and I want you to look at the remaining words and find all of the words that have the E-I together that make the long A sound, like in the word way. When you do that, come back to the video. All right, you should have found the words slay, rain. Now that kind of rain, all right, is not rain like raining outside. That kind of a rain is what like King Trave did in our medallion book. He had a rain. It was something that a king does. Okay, beige, 18, freight, vein. All right, now this is not like a weather vane. This is like a vein in your arm that they take blood out of. So those are all EI together that make the long A sound. So you can go ahead and glue them down, and then I want you to take your red colored pencil, and I want you to highlight all the EIs together that make the long A sound. All right, this last column is another reason why we're not going to sort, because I haven't quite figured out what they did. They only gave us three blanks, but I found like five words that should go in that column. So I'm not really sure what they've done. So these, this is the C-E-I that makes the long E sound. Okay, so in, these, in this case, all right, the I before the E except after the C proves true. There's five words that follow that pattern in this column. So you should be able to find, I want you to find the word perceive, all right? Perceive is how you view something, you perceive something. So in that word, notice that the C-E-I is together and it makes the long E sound, all right? Now, to me it makes the long, it, it has the still the sound in there, but they're saying a long E sound. So you have perceive perceive. Now this is where it gets a little confusing. They've given us two blanks left, but I have went through and I have found four more words. I have found the word deceive, conceited, receipt, and sealing. Those all have the C-E-I together making the long E sound. So I'm not real sure why they didn't give us more spaces on that chart. So just glue it on there. If you need to go into the oddball column, I'm okay. And then just write, um, you only should have one word left. So just put it in the very last blank and write oddball on top of it. But I want you to glue those in. And then I want you to take your purple colored pencil and highlight the C-E-I that makes the long E sound. So we have one word left. And so you should have found the word mischief. All right. It makes the I. The I-E together makes the I sound. So can you see why this is so confusing? Is because sometimes I-E together makes the long E sound. Sometimes it makes the long I sound. The E-I together sometimes makes the long E sound or it makes the long A sound. So this is why this is very confusing. These are great words to study and great words to know because these are makes common spelling mistakes. But... Um, they're just they're just hard words, and so you're really going to have to practice with this chart. 
I want you to go ahead and uh, complete the chart. You are not going to have a test on this until the very last day of school, Thursday. Remember, you have your history test and your spelling test on Thursday. So that's going to give you a full week. It's going to give you Wednesday and Thursday of this week. It'll give you Monday and Wednesday of next week. So you're going to have a full a week to study these. So hopefully you're going to do very well. And I, I just really think this is going to be the hardest test. So I ha hope you have a, a great rest of your week, and I will see you at school on Friday.